Welcome back. Thanks to Aetis' journal, we now know that it was Gen, Aetis' father, an arrogant man with delusions of godhood, who created Riven. Over thirty years ago, Aetis trapped Gen on Riven, but now Gen has somehow managed to capture Catherine, Aetis' wife. We have been sent here to capture Gen and rescue Catherine, while Aetis continues writing in Riven's descriptive book to help keep the unstable age together. So we must do the following. Retrieve the prison book that was taken from us. Capture Gen in the prison book. Find and rescue Catherine. And find a way to signal Atrus so we can get off Riven. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, we'd better get started. We have a lot of work to do. Let's look around a little bit in the area where we arrived. This is the cage that we arrived in. On the outside it doesn't really look like a cage, it just look, looks like a protection built around the linking spot. And this is a normal thing for the Dunny to do, to build such a chamber around a linking spot. This is because Gen doesn't know why uh, that uh, the gateway image in the Riven book is so distorted. He thinks that Atris can still see the linking sp spot through the gateway image. So if there was an obvious cage there, he would never be so foolish as to link there. With the cage disguised like this, Atris wouldn't know. Next to the cage is this giant dagger. There are several of these giant daggers in uh, in Riven. They were written into the age uh, by Catherine before Gen was trapped here a long time ago. Over here we have the lever that controls the cage, but it's stuck. This small dagger has been uh, jammed in there by the uh, guy who rescued us. Look, notice that the small dagger looks the same as the large dagger. Over here is some kind of telescope. Only r different from a normal telescope, it appears to be looking down. It also appears to be looking at nothing at all at the moment. And that's because this hatch is shut. It doesn't look like it's been used recently with all this rust on it. And unfortunately, I cannot open it. I don't know the combination. I really don't know the combination. It's randomly generated every time you play, so I don't know what it is this time. Above the telescope we can see this giant dome. There's some controls for the telescope, but they don't appear to be doing anything. Pipe leading into the rock. And beyond there, a very, very deep chasm. So let's not go this way. We're currently standing on one of the five islands of Riven. This island is usually called Temple Island or Dome Island because of the giant dome that's on it. From here we can see one of the other islands. And there's these cables connecting the islands. The islands actually used to be closer together, but because of the uh, unstable nature of the age, they've been drifting further and further apart. The visuals in this game are fantastic. I absolutely... I, this is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. Despite the low resolution and limited color graphics and things like that, it is just breathtaking. Over here is a room. Well, let's uh, take a look inside this room. This room has five sides. The number five is something that crops up a lot in uh, Riven. This is because the Dunny culture thinks uh, the number five is important and Gen ascribes it even more important and has integrated it into every facet of Rivenese uh, culture. This is also uh, the case because Riven is Gen's fifth age, as we saw in Richard's um, journal. The symbol on the floor here is the symbol of Gen. It is five pen tips surrounded by a circle, and in the middle is the Dunny number symbol five. Like I said, the guy has an obsession with five. The roof, we see some stars, and I think this is supposed to be a pen tip. This room is a, a worship room for Gen, 
and it's uh, centered around the whole idea of writing books because this is like a pen tip like I said and the columns are tree trunks which is the source of the paper and the beetles sitting on the columns are the source of the ink so everything in this room is about writing books and these beetles are actually not just ornamental you can open them up and look inside we see here some religious representations this one shows Gen with a halo around his head no he doesn't have any illusions of godhood and he is writing in a book and from the tip of his pen there come people and fish and animals and the sky and plants so everything is created by his writing this shows that that God believes uh, that Gen believes he is a god and that he creates worlds by writing In contrast, actually, what uh, the Dani do is that they just link to existing worlds when they uh, write. There's some Dani writing on the wall here, but I don't know what it says. Um, okay. The second beetle shows God, which is again the. Um, hanging in the sky with a book behind him and being worshipped by the villagers of Riven. This third beetle has a problem with its click spot. The, but when we look inside it we see Gen casting someone into a pit. And what this represents is uh, Gen defeating Atreus and throwing him into the star fissure. Well, that's not actually what happened. What happened in truth is that Atreus had destroyed all the linking books away from Riven. So that the only linking book left was the one he held, his mist book. So he intentionally jumped into the star fissure and linked away from uh, Riven. And the linking book he used, the mist book, fell further into the star fissure until at some point the player found it, starting the events of uh, Mist. Of course, Gen doesn't want his, uh, his followers to know that he's been trapped by Atreus, so his version of the story is that he defeated Atreus and exiled him from Riven, proving that he is God. In this image we see um, the guilds of Riven, Dunny is based on guilds, the Dunny Society, and Gen has recreated some of these guilds here on Riven. At the top we see Gen, and below that the five guild masters. We have the guild of builders, the guild of educators, the guild of maintainers, the guild of Tetris players, um, sorry, I mean uh, surveyors, and the guild of bookmakers. And the final beetle shows us the process of making books. We start out with trees that have been cut down and these trees go into some machine which shreds the wood. And there's a pressure cooker which helps uh, separate the wood fibers and then we can make paper and a book. And the book is being worshipped by some people, I guess these are the guild masters again. I'm not entirely sure what the flames are doing, if they're part of the bookmaking process or part of the, the process that Gen needs to power his books, which we'll see later. Okay, those are all the beetles. This uh, room has two exits, and one of them leads to a bridge which leads to the giant dome we saw earlier. Unfortunately, there's a gate in front of this. Uh, in front of this door, so we can't actually go anywhere. We're out of time, so I'll continue in the next video. Goodbye.